woke up I'm going to the A's game today so I'll be getting ready and we're getting picked up at noon and Lo uh, Lobito we're both gonna get picked up sorry I'm like tired <laughs> it's like 9 in the morning I should have woken up sooner all right I'm gonna go and get ready now Hey guys, so I'm getting ready. Um, this is like my morning routine. I already showered, I'm dressed. I'm not 100% dressed, but I'm dressed. And I still have to do my hair, but that's basically what I do. Um, right now we're using, this is from Target, I mean Target from Trader Joe's. It's toothpaste, but yeah, I'm gonna brush my teeth. Uh, we were using this other brand, it was called Twice, I think, yeah, Twice, it's like Lenny Kravitz um, brand, and I really loved it, but we can't find it, at our, it's supposed to be like at the local Target and stuff, but we can't find it, so for now we're using Trader Joe brand. <laughs> I forgot to put on my lip mask, so I've been using this is the Lizzie McGuire Bubblegum Pop uh, Lippy Scrub by ColourPop, and I freaking love it. It's so cute. It does smell like bubblegum. <laughs> and you can tell I use it pretty often. But I usually put it on before I start um, brushing my teeth because I like to leave it on while I brush my teeth. But yeah. So I've been using rose water from Trader Joe's. My skin gets really red. So I've been using that. My, my cousin told me that. <laughs> I think it's like Salma Hayek or... Um, I don't know, Hayek or... Penelope Cruz uses it in their morning routine to bring down redness and hydration. Blah blah blah, but I'm trying it. Okay. And then I've been using this eye cream my mom gave me. It's like a little tiny sample size, the Estee Lauder Brazilian Swift. I don't really like using Estee Lauder products, uh, mostly because they have a lot of uh, things I don't like in my products but for now it is what it is I have it I might as well use it until I get something new probably gonna end up buying the Trader Joe one sorry I hope anyways yeah. so I just put it like over my lid under my eye and then kind of like up to the side so yeah that's what eye cream and then I bought the Enrich Moisturizing Face Lotion Broad Spectrum SPF 15 from Trader Joe's. I really like it. It smells like super light, like flowers. And I think it's extreme. So that's cool with me because I'm not trying to smell like a bunch of. Eh, that's a lie. I'm just not trying to smell like a bunch of like flowers. I like more sweet smells. like candy smells, candy scents. Yeah, it's pretty all around. Don't want to burn. And my face gets more red every time I touch it. So I'm trying not to touch it much. Put it all around my face, my, ch my neck and my chest. But for my body, I've been using <laughs> Trader Joe's came out with like the bombest smelling body lotion and like body scrub. 
It's the Brazil Nut body, body Lotion or Body Butter, I mean. And it's like made with acai and guarana extract plus a delighted salted caramel and pistachio scent, but Tummy just smells like delicious. It smells almost like almond like almond oil. That's my face routine. It's like my face prep, face routine, face, everyday face. And if I don't wear makeup, this is all I do. Um, I don't really have any primer on me right now. So yeah, I'm not gonna put too much makeup on. I've been using this, the Tarte. With, uh, in light honey, oh wait, light medium honey. Um, it's like a powered hybrid gel foundation. I've had it for like five years. I've had it for a while. I need to get new makeup, but I really like this formula. It, I mean, lately I feel like it's been showing up a little bit yellow, but I just use it kind of to like cover like certain spots of my face that I feel. I like two red or black have blemishes, you know, but I start with like under my eyes. Cause I wanna get that like I wanna look awake. So yeah. I'll just use my fingers because why not? I used to use sponges all the time, but they get expensive and they break after a few months. And I just feel like using your fingers is like mm -hmm. the best, cheapest alternative you can find. I don't do too much pulling of the skin because you know, I don't want to F up my skin. I do stuff. I like cover up, you know, put on. I have a few other blemishes, like more red spots. And I just work it in my skin. I know what people are probably like, oh, there's a better way of doing this, but honestly, to each his own. It's like my husband says, there's so many different ways of cutting a tomato. It's just whatever works for you. For me, this works. I'm gonna try to be as gentle as possible because I'm not trying to like tug too much on my skin. I am, after all, a youthful 32. <laughs> Covering up most of it everywhere I have red. Okay, a little more. Like, I have a lot of redness on this side for sure. I'm like, I have some blemishes, like cluster blemishes on this side. Well, like earlier it was like acne, and then now it's just red spots. <laughs> so I just don't want it to be like clogged up in like certain corners or anything. I like putting it on my lips. I create like a base. <laughs> I don't know my forehead because I do get red right here in my T zone. It's like the one spot that like really does get catch. Obviously late. I think it's really good. Like a little pimple that I popped in. <laughs> it's covered up a little bit. There we go, kind of even out my skin a little bit. Now my face is prepped. Mm. Ready to slay. Next thing I do is collaboration like palette. I got it a few years back, I don't even know. 2019, 20, 2020, 2021, whenever it came out. It's really these like matte colors. I usually FYI I'm not like pro MUA, just just what I do. I'm a woman. <laughs> um I usually like to use the color this one, Cholita. Probably don't like doing this, but I just put it all over my lid. Basically, I bring it into the corner of my eye. 
Let me see if you put it on my head. Thank you, baby. And I put it in the corners of my eyes and I like blend it in. <clears throat> I blend it in. I chose the wrong color, to be honest. It's more dark. Darker than I wanted it to be. So I may have chosen the wrong color. Oh, we'll make it work. Blend it into it. And I'm bringing it down. I already have very small eyes, so, you know. This is my lazy, smoky, sexy eye. I am going to go in with my thin brush. This color. Loca. I'm gonna just like make a little line in my crease. Apply my crease, but add a little bit of that like redness. That like moody, like, oh, I just woke up and I'm a little tired. My eyes are a little red and puffy. Just wing it out. Like, I really love these colors. I love like, how matte they are. They're honestly my favorite palette. I do have plenty of ColourPop palettes. And I love all the collaborations of like, uh, I bought the, um, we got the Hocus Pocus 2. And I love the the glitters. Those are like my favorite. The glitters are so cute. They stick so well and they look so beautiful. And then I'll do the other one. about it. <laughs> I just wash it off with like soap and water. It comes right off. We got the blue gray one. I really like it. It's like a bluish gray. And it just kind of gives you a little extra dimension and depth. If you don't want to wear eyeliner, you know? Which I don't. Like I, I do, but I don't because I don't want to look like I'm hella make up. It's not even a word, but you know. Put it like in the corner of my eye. And that's what I do with it. So this one. Like I said, I have very small eyes already. And I don't like. I mean, I love dressing up my eyes, don't get me wrong. I think the eyes are the windows to the soul. And my soul is very bright. But. Sometimes like I don't want to catch too many looks, be bitches be insecure. So you know, just a little bit, just to like, you know. Mm -hmm. For now, that's it for the eyes. 
So I've been using the Dior Show. Got this little sample. Um, the Dior Show. Uh, so Maximize 3D. And it's just like a base primer serum, and it's white. Mine is a little different color because <laughs> I've been using it. Gives me extra definition. I already have very long eyelashes, so I don't normally curl them or anything like that. I just go in with the mascara, but this helps kind of keep the mascara in place so that it's not like going down my eyes when I start sweating. So instead of wearing like waterproof mascara, which I don't do. It's this is my alternative to that. Kind of helps stick the mascara to the lashes a little better. I'm not saying that you won't like start sweating your face off and you know your mascara won't melt. It will, but <laughs> kind of helps a little bit. Like I said, I don't wear a waterproof mascara, so. I don't like the formulas and I don't like having to take it off because it takes like 10 days trying to get it out. I've been using Dior mascara for like over 10 years now. I love it. It's the Dior show. Like the moment it came out, I like bought it and never looked back. But I've been hearing crazy things about um, Rare Beauty's mascara and I think when I run out of this one or out of my, mask my Dior Show mascara, I think I'm going to buy it. I want to try it out and give you guys a review about it. A review video about it because I hear such great things about it and then seeing the videos of like girls, they're literally applying like one coat. And then be like, oh my god, my lashes, I, you know, I curl them and they never get this long and they never look this good. You know, Selena G herself, testimony. You know, saying that like, oh, she doesn't curl her eyelashes anymore because her mascara formula just does it all for her. Well, girl, I want to try it. Mm-hmm. At least this one should be dry. If not, we're gonna have gray lashes. And we don't mind that. So this is the Dior Show Blackout. I'm gonna love this mascara. I love it. I love the Dior Show mascaras. They're just so pretty and they stick so well. It's like magic too. It does take like when you first start using it, um, when they're fresh, fresh, fresh. They give you like the most defined lashes and I really like that. I like my lashes kind of being looking a little bit more natural. Like I said, I have long lashes so like, you know, still looks, but you know, when like the formula is just like full and fresh, it's like the lashes just kind of go. Like some of them get a little bit clumped up, not a lot, but just like a little bit. And then I said it causes, it, I mean, it, it doesn't look bad, but it's like, for me, I just, I like a more natural look, like I said. I like try to keep my lashes all separate so I could have the most lashes available for free. <laughs> I also don't wear eyelashes, so but this is it for me. I was thinking of like doing the the eye like single eyelashes. Not single, like you know, single little mini loops of eyelashes. Cause I don't want to like I've worn eyelashes before, and for me they're just way too heavy. It feels like my, I'm carrying like five pounds of like hair in my eyes. I don't like that feeling. But I have tried like also the single ones. And I was thinking of like lash extensions, but then I kept hearing really bad things about like, mm -hmm. your eyelashes might fall out and 
I don't want my eyelashes to fall out. I like my eyelashes, to be honest. I would just stick to like my natural ones. Maybe one day I'll do eyelash extensions if like my eyelash hairs fall out. <laughs> I applied to both. I usually just use one coat because that's really all you need with this mascara. I mean, you can. It's great for building up. Like it builds up very nicely and it gives you incredible looking lashes. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, one of my eyes, I feel, is always a lot more fabulous than my other eye. Like this one right here, my left eye. I feel like every time I add mascara to it, to like my top lashes, they're like ba boom And they just look hot and beautiful. And I wish these lashes were on my right eye because they just look so pretty. Like see, like this one kind of does this like little goofy thing. It really clips up. I just need a lash brush. <laughs> but yeah, these are my eyelashes. Mm, 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 mm. I'm sure I'm doing my. So that's my eyes. It's not complete 100% because I'm still gonna do. Um, next step is gonna be my treats nearly apricot um melting blush and i've been ooh, my hair on this i've been really loving like the baby doll look the, like feverish look and i like it i love the color it's freaking beautiful but mm -hmm. i'm gonna do a base basically what i saw them doing was like or explaining was that they just kind of like tap, tap, so that the blush really sticks. We have to get more, but yeah, build up on that. highlight palette fucking love this it's super beautiful i like eggs that's what they are beautiful shimmy egg i'm just gonna get the pink one the drag then drogo i like put it on the tip of my nose some lights the pink one by the way i'm gonna put a lot on top of my eye As I said, my eyes are almost done with it. Not just yet, because I like adding a little bit of highlight. Some of it added like on here and stuff, like it's just right there. There we go. By the way, I'm gonna do my brows because I don't have shit to use. And I don't wanna put mascara on them today because I am gonna go to the game and I don't wanna sweat and sweat eyebrows. Mm -hmm. 